Three, two, what? <laughs> I got killed in the last second. Oh no! Hello, Traria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack. So in today's episode, we're going to be checking out something completely new. In the last episode, we spent a little bit of time actually looking at a few different boss summons. And one of them was for something called, I believe it was called like the Forest of the Dead Army, or the Forest Army, or the Dead Army of the... F I, right. <laughs> you basically, I, I believe it's an event. I believe it's an event that has a boss at the end. It's part of the Beyond the Forgotten Ages mod. And I have no clue about anything actually included in that mod. The only thing I saw before making the series is I went onto the forum page. I, <laughs> I took a picture of the tree. You know, the, I believe it's called like the Ghastly Ent or something. And I, I stuck that in the thumbnail because it looked amazing. And it reminds me of Lord of the Rings with those big talking trees. That's a tangent for another day. But I believe it's going to appear at the end of this event. So I'm quite excited for that. So I went ahead and made the log. Where is... Oh, it's here. <laughs> I was like, where is it? It looks a bit like mossy cobblestone from Minecraft. I don't know if they still have that in Minecraft, if they have mossy stuff. But it looks a bit like that. So, it's pretty simple to craft. Here it is. You guys let me know where to get some of these little elements as well, so I appreciate that. That's always, uh, that's always the best part about the comment section, honestly, is you guys helping me out. So, yeah, let's get it done. So, it's here, basically. It's called, oh, it's called the Forest Army. I don't know where I got Forest of the Dead from. Maybe I've been, like, <laughs> playing too much zombies or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, S the rest is. Oh, wait. That boss might not be called the... I don't know. Anyway, maybe it wasn't called... I don't know. Right, I'm getting confused. I don't know what this boss is called. We'll find out eventually. Uh, I also got stuff for the Flaming Pumpkin. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I, I probably will do it today. But I like that there are so many bosses. Like, I was counting it out. So, after Skeletron... There was 10 bosses before the Wall of Flesh. Like, that's crazy, isn't it? 10 bosses in between then and there. That's pretty cool. And we're going to have to check out loads of little, like, extra biomes I've not been to yet. This, this, oh, it's just so packed, this mod pack. It's lovely. All right. Let's begin. Yeah, okay. So it was an event. Okay, I'm kind of glad that I predicted that right. Oh, they're tiny trees. That's cool. I like that. Some of them look like cabbages. Oh, it's like, um... God, it really is like Lord of the Rings. So some of them look like uh, like normal trees, essentially. These ones are obviously jungle ones. Oh, they're palm trees. I wish I had an eye tracker so I could show you exactly which ones I'm looking at when I'm saying that. I'm like, oh, that's that's palm trees. You, you have no idea where I'm looking at. Oh, flying ones. Okay. Wasn't expecting this. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Oh, no. Don't kill the cactuses, boys. I tell you what, with a, uh, a beehive, this thing could be uh, crazy, couldn't it? In reality. All right, let's buff up. Let's make sure we're all buffed up so that we don't die. We're almost all the way through it. Oh my god, look at that. This is cool, I like this. The music's pretty cool as well, you know? Big drums. Oh, and there's like flute music as well. Can you hear the flutes, guys? Da -dum, da -da 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 -dum. Okay, a beast, whoa! Whoa, okay. This is cool. Oh my god, all right, let's not, oh god, we're gonna perish, I feel like. Unless I can literally fly away. The Woodland Terrors retreated to their roots. Is that because I bailed on them? I really hope it's not because I bailed on them. I wasn't looking at the progress meter. But I obviously bailed on them so I could do this. Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to look back and edit it and be like, what? All disappointed in that. All right, my summons are just kind of taking it on itself. That's kind of good, though, because then I can uh, focus on my movement and stuff. All right, I'm going to go back this way. Oh my god, look at all those bees! <laughs> Did you guys see the amount of bees we had? Oh my god. Oh god, it's getting stronger. Oh, that's kind of cool. So what it's doing is it's shooting summons beneath. Brian the Guide has arrived. Oh man, I missed the flute music. <laughs> I kind of wish it sticked around for a little bit longer, the flute music. Okay. This is good because even though I'm not actually directly hitting it, I still am attacking it with a lot of bees. I mean, this is enough to make... You know, Nicholas Cage feel uncomfortable. Can't exactly tell what's going on, though. This is a really cool boss, though. This is a cool way to, like, add to an event. Oh, God. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Like, oh. Uh, oh, okay. It's changed. It's, uh, it's bulb opens with force. I didn't even see the bulb. <coughs> God. I've already gone to the point where I need a little bit of a drink because my throat is so sore. And I've got bulbs to worry about. Okay, I've got seven seconds on this left. 
Come on, dude. Let's not die here. Okay. Okay, bees, come on. Do your thing. Alright, it's, it's getting rid of its health pretty fast, so I'm pretty chill about that. Oh, God. They do 50 damage? Two more hits and we're dead. Okay, the Magnoliac has been defeated. Oh, my God. Thank God I can have a drink. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> that feels way better. <clears throat> Actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm just slowly dying, guys. Don't worry. Okay, we got... <laughs> I read that as the Bleacherang. And I was like, ooh, that's a bit edgy. All right, what we got? So I got a Bleacherang. <laughs> which is its new name. We got some ancient foliage. So I needed a few of these. Actually, do you know what? It probably is best that while I talk, I go back to where we uh, killed all those little dudes. Because they might have actually dropped something as I was killing them. And I haven't picked it up. All right, let's open this up. So we got a demonic acorn cannon. Oh, yeah. What's it, what's it shooting? Is it shooting bullets? Uses eight mana. Uses acorns as ammo. Oh, so it does. Or not? Maybe? Can't really tell what's going on with that. Hmm, kind of cool. And then was that it? I think that was it. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at you go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. So, yeah, they did drop stuff. That's kind of good. I'm kind of glad they did. Did they drop, like, all different types? <laughs> they did. Okay, that's cool. And they got 13 of these, and I believe that's enough to make the tree. I assumed the tree would just show up during the event, not like an actual, like, flying boss. So I'm kind of surprised by that. Huh. So what's the next boss, then? What was the what was the big tree boss? Let's actually have a look here. So this makes the ancient logs. That's all it makes. Huh. So where did I see... You remember, guys, in a previous episode, I saw the, uh... I saw the tree, and I was like, oh, that's the tree boss. Oh, it's because I clicked on this, and I was like, oh, there's a ghastly N. All right, okay. Well, I wonder if anything differs during that event. Huh, now I'm kind of confused. Now I'm like, maybe you get one of these bosses, or maybe not. But I guess I'm going to carry on, unless I can see ghastly N on here. Do you guys see it? Oh, it's there. Oh, okay. Summon the forest army and use the thingy. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, cool. All right, so that makes a lot more sense. All right, that's the confusion gone. Thank God. Right, so it's on to the next boss. I'm going to keep this around just for a little bit, just to see what it's like. So let's check out whatever's next. I'm going to take another drink. Oh. <clears throat> I tell you what, it's that intro. It's the Hello Terraria Infuses part. Always, <laughs> always sets me off on a bad record. All right, okay. Dread Lantern. So for this, I needed pumpkins. I did get some pumpkins, so... Okay, I can't make the Dread Lantern, which means I'm missing something. So we'll find out what we're missing. So... Dread Lantern. D-R-E-A-D. Dread Lantern. Okay, so... You oh, you need to make it a demon altar. I tell you what, it'd be nice if you could actually, like, craft a demon altar and put it inside of this mod, just so you didn't have to, like, deal with it. All right, I'm back. I've got a drink now, so I should be a little bit better. I kind of ran out of a drink in the first clip. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully my, my voice will stay a little bit better and a little bit stronger. That's all. That's what you always want as a YouTuber. Anyway, I went ahead and made the Dread Lantern. So I'm excited to see what this is. It's called the, like, Burning Pumpkin or something like that. That sounds pretty good. I'm a big fan of Halloween, so I do like pumpkin-themed items. Uh, I'm also going to make... Well, I've already got a campfire, so I think it should be good. In reality, I think I should be good. I'm just going to wait a little bit more just to heal up before I begin. Oh, also, because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about this. And it's because of something I said. I said that I was going to add the wing slot mod for the cactuses. Now, I didn't add it yet because I didn't want to do it until hard mode. Because I thought it would be a little bit unfair to have it now. So, I'll do it in hard mode. That's I, I, I don't know if I specified that properly. And I got a few comments. It was top comment of the last episode. So... Begin! Okay, here he is. Okay, his health bar disappeared. So, I'm guessing he's... Yeah, he's invincible. <laughs> so, right. <clears throat> now, I don't know what happens. I don't know how to trigger the next step. So, all I'm going to do is bounce around until he can be shot again. And I'll, I'll fire at him occasionally. But I don't want to waste your guys' time with this. So... I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll do jump cuts if needed. 
but I'm not a big fan of bosses that have invincibility timers or bosses that start with an invincibility timer. I don't really like that. It's meant to like knock you down before you even begin the fight. And as good as that is, it can be like pretty boring to be honest. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try not get hit. Try and avoid all the things. And, uh, and I'll jump cut now to when I can actually fight him. Okay, so he can now take damage. It's been about like, I don't know if it's been like three or four minutes. But I'm going to be honest, this is probably the worst modded boss I've ever done. I'm not going to lie. Like, not to be too harsh, but... Oh my god. We'll do the ant lion boss. So we'll make the ant lion doll. Here we go. Summons the ant lion queen. Very nice. And we can actually do this one in our home area right here. I can't remember this boss, to be honest. So I don't truly know what to expect. Oh, it's this one. I remember this. I can't tell you what. Uh, this has got to be. I don't know. This has got to be spirit or something like that. Oh, okay. Right. I remember this one. I remember the key was staying mobile. I believe that was the key. <laughs> we'll find out if I die. Yeah, that flaming pumpkin one, though. Who starts a boss fight with three minutes? Three solid minutes. And not being able to do anything. Oh, my God. Let me out. Oh, I'm in a left. I'm in a death trap. Ah. God, I'm still in the death trap. I thought, oh, there you go. I'm out of it. Oh, God. This The pattern on this one's pretty mad. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. Let me out of the death trap. Oh, it's not my day today, guys, for bosses. At least modded bosses. Ah, okay. Ah, let me out the way. Okay, I'm still doing good damage, though. Oh, I feel like if I got super lucky here and got, like, I don't know, like a bunch of health for free, I could do it. Ah, get me out of the death trap. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, oh god, he's flinging stuff now. Okay, there was some health on the floor down here. I'd love to get it. Okay, I didn't fully... Oh, no, no, no. I got seven seconds left on the heal. Five, four, three, two, what? <laughs> I got killed in the last second. Oh, no. <laughs> we were so close. I was even doing a countdown. Go on, we'll give that one another go. Because that one was actually pretty chill. So, I'm going to make some jester arrows. If you guys haven't... If you guys have been wondering why I have so many jester arrows, it's not because I've, like, been farming or anything like that. Well, I've just been buying them. But looking at that, that's pretty dismal, right? Oh, what? <laughs> I thought these were jester arrows. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm going to just buy some arrows. Let's see. Mr. Merchant Man. Calvin, help me out. Sell me some arrows. Oh, yeah. Uh, sell me a bunch. I'm kind of running out of money, though. I could, I could kind of do with selling something. I never actually did fully check out that gun. Huh. Okay, maybe we'll get some gold from these dudes. Uh, hmm, at least we got one gun there. One gun, one gold. Can't speak today, boys. Uh, let's see. I tell you what, if this, uh, if this slime event ended and gave us a Slime King, that would be pretty chill. Right, we'll, we'll sell some stuff. Uh... We'll sell some of these kind of things just to get just to get a little bit of money, essentially. So, like, we'll sell some of the doubles. I wish I could do, like, I've Cthulhu during the day. Because then I could, like, I could make a killing. Oh, I tell you what I did get. I got a gold snake. Yeah, I found a gold snake and a gold squirrel. So, what we'll do is we'll sell those. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I'm not bothered about selling that. Right. Got 21. Right, let's buy some stars. Nice. God, it costs a lot of money to do that. And then we'll make as many of these as possible. These jester arrows are super good, though. Especially for, like, this point in the game. So, actually being able to buy them. Yeah, it works out pretty well. Alright, we'll buy, like, a thousand of those. And we'll make them all up. Okay, so let's, let's redo it. I feel like uh, with a little bit of extra movement, I could do it. Let me just take a sip. Mm. No, okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's not my day. Uh, let's see. How do you make the doll? D-O-L-L. -L. Antlion doll. You need these, 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 and these. What have I run out of? If I had to make a guess off the top of my head, I'm going to say silk. 
silk. How many have I got? Yeah, there you go. Okay, now let's see if I can make it. Yes, awesome. Okay, great. I'm really proud that I managed to remember that off the top of my head. Okay. Right. Where's the doll? Here we go. All right, you guys ready? We'll zoom out this time as well so we get the best preparation. It's kind of weird looking at it zoomed out, isn't it? Hey, we got King Slime after all. Cool. All right. Well, at least we got this dude to deal with. Okay. This should be a pretty quick fight, actually, with all things considered. Look at that. Absolutely tearing through this dude. Hey, okay, there we go. Awesome. All right. Lots of health, lots of money. Great way to start. And then we'll use some of these Jester arrows to mess these guys up. It's kind of mad how they pierce, isn't it? Uh, it'd be good if they left some health on the floor so I could use it later. So I've got some along that bottom track. I've got, like, I can see one, two, three. Okay. Let's begin. All right, let's try to do a little bit better this time. Let's try not get caught in the death loop. That was, like, the biggest problem last time. I just need to start moving around a little bit faster. I kind of remember this. I feel like when I originally did this boss, I feel like I died a few times to it for this very reason of, like, not being able to maneuver properly. But, oh, it's when it charges. That's when you you think you're all in the good, and then it charges at you. Okay, you need to go that way. Ah! Yeah, it's that, it's that knockback loop, though, isn't it? Of not having a, uh, a cobalt shield. There are, like, potions and stuff that... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, there are potions and stuff that will sort that out for you, but... Okay, this is getting super annoying. So let me out of the loop. <laughs> no! Oh, my God, this fight. It's so... It's... Honestly, it's... It's, ah, it's harder than it looks. I swear. I swear. Okay. All right, this is good, though. Always love a challenge. Don't want to take it out of the biome. Okay, it's charged me. What of it? Okay. Oh, I poisoned it. I wonder what poisoned it. I don't know if it's like the feathers of the armor. I love that it rains sand. I think that's a really cool feature. Okay, slowing down. I think it charged onto that sand. Why is it? Oh, okay. Hey, we did it. Awesome, dudes. Nice one. Okay, cool. Yeah, right, let's see what we got. So... Let's see what mod it's from. Is it from Spirit? If I had to guess, I'd say so. Oh, it's from the Antiaris. Yeah, that explains a lot, actually. Yeah, that does. That'd explain why I remember it a little bit clearer, because I did Antiaris after Spirit, but I did that on Chippy Came In. Okay, we got some Sansom scrolls. I'm happy about those. We got a longbow. Ooh, I think that's probably like a little bit better than this. Oh, wow, it's quite a bit. Shoots out an arrow and a piercing splinter at the same time. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, okay. Not bad. We got some uh, carapace. So let's see what the carapace makes. I imagine the carapace probably makes something good. Let's see. Okay, so you make armor with it. Oh, and it's an upgrade to the B set. That's kind of cool. I like that. You can also make the boomerang and the dagger. Ooh, very nice. Cool. All right. And I also got the slime king one. So I got another glow stick sword. Uh, some ninja stuff, uh, royal gel solidifiers, all good stuff really. Oh, I remember this and it shoots you up way in the air. I love this. I used to use this to like mess around. Woo! Wait, wait for it. Oh, you got to do it on the floor. Woo! Oh, there's a really cool trick with it. If I can get one to go here and then here, watch this. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, no, I didn't do it you got to, like, line them up properly. Oh, it's kind of hard to show. Can you actually summon them on platforms? Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, all right. So I summoned one on the platform. If I summon one here, it shoots you up really, really high. And you can kind of, like, trail it up with platforms. It's, it's really cool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. In combat, it's probably not the best sword, but, yeah, cool, all right. Oh, and I also got the, uh, the slime staff. Oh, my God, that's actually pretty decent. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with the longbow. I think the longbow is the best thing. There we go. Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Now, I told you I would tell you where my trip was. Now, do remember, this is not meant to be a surprise for you guys. It was meant to be a, a birthday surprise. And now that surprise is out in the open, I'll tell you where I'm off. I'm actually off to New York, which is a really big deal for me personally because it's somewhere I've always wanted to visit. Now... 
I imagine, because I know obviously a lot of you are from America. I know a lot of you aren't, though. But a lot of you are from America, and you probably hear that, and you're like, New York, really? You know, some people don't see it as, as big of a deal, but when you live in England, New York is like a really big deal. Like, going to New York is, is crazy when you live in England. And obviously, it's like the furthest I've ever traveled and stuff, so I'm super excited. I'm off in a couple of days, so the pre-recording starts now. So, for the next few days, you probably have, like, shorter episodes, but I'll also be responding to comments while I'm in America because you guys will be watching them at a pretty convenient time. And I'll also be responding to tweets and Instagram posts. And if you want to check me out on social media, you'll see everything that I'm doing on my trip. And maybe I'll post a community post on the Chippy's Couch channel. And that's about it. So I'm going to start the pre-recording now after tonight's episode goes live. So this one. So do be sure to leave comments when you watch them. I will read them. I will interact with them. And when I get back, I'll do like a mega thread going through all the suggestions and stuff. The episodes will be a little bit shorter because I don't want to do too much without you guys. And that's it. Right. See you soon, guys. Peace.